hey guys welcome to the new video tutorial today we are going to discuss about spring batch so today's session we have split it into two categories i'm going to explain what exactly is spring batch is next i'll jump to the demo okay so as you guys can see my screen so this spring batch is an open source framework for batch processing what is this batch processing exactly means execution of series of jobs let's say i'm trying to read one data from database or any particular file system that is a particular you know like activities that i do so those are considered as job and multiple jobs are combined they are getting this batch and they are executed in a batch and basically this is a bulk of data that we try to interact for read and write rip operations and so those we called the batch operations as you can see my screen we have this job repository which holds exactly all the activities is going around this batch process there is a job launcher its activities to launch a job and there is a job which hold the different process right different activities so those are categorized into multiple steps okay so it could be a read operation write operation a process operation so anything it could be right so what we have there are few activities that we do and this could be with the different steps then we have those are combined as a job and those job can be triggered with a job launcher and that job launcher can be you know like we reside in a repository that is called job repository okay so if i'll go through this definition spring batch is an open source framework for batch processing execution of series of jobs spring batch provides classes and apis to read and write resources so spring in build it provide for you apis to do all these operations okay so job processing statistics job restart partitioning techniques to process high volume of data this is required like when we are looking for high volume of data interaction we are doing and splitting into different categories of activities this is what it comes very handy okay i'll just go ahead and i'll showcase a demo using the spring boot so let's go ahead to that okay so here i have one spring boot project is ready so what i have is i'll just go through this pom.xml the what are the dependencies are required that i will just explain first i have spring boot starter batch okay then you are very familiar with the spring boot starter web and i also required for this batch operation uh, i have um, uh, put this inbuilt database if you guys don't know about what is s2 you go through my go to my channel and please go through all the older videos that will help you guys to understand there are many spring boot and spring cloud components that we have and we have discussed earlier so go ahead and all the videos that we have in our channel and don't forget to subscribe and like and put your comments okay going ahead so these are the dependencies which mainly we required for this batch spring batch uh, operations so what we need to do is we need to define the jobs and before defining these jobs i need to you know like enable this particular class with this annotation enable batch processing which will trigger all these job i mean exactly this job operations and create the job for us and i have this job builder factory i have auto auto where this and step builder factory and these steps that i need to configure the different activities and i will put these steps inside this job right so if i will configure the steps just for the demo i keep it very simple this is the step 1 activities and the, this is the step 2 activities and inside it i have very simple loggers that start and done so you guys can see like whichever is uh, getting triggered right so 
so here you have the step one um, this is the step step we are trying to configure so this is the step one and again and again if you look at this this is the step two this is another activities okay and what i need to do is i need to configure these jobs right this job builder factory that we have i need to you know like configure and create a bin for that how do i need to do it so i just gave a name as demo job and what i need to do is i need to configure all these steps okay so i put this steps one and steps two and i try to build it right and what i did here i added a listener right whenever this required i mean this job is uh, the steps are uh, activated i want this listener to listen that and do some activities before and after that particular act i mean job when it process so i put this some logger then we can see like how we can configure the listeners this will be very handy in your project when you guys are going to implement okay so this is how you need to configure the jobs and where this job bin is created okay and this is the listener and these are the these are the two classes that i have and these are basically the different activities this this is the step one and this is the this class is for the step two activities and here is the main application file okay so what i need to do is for time being let's say i i i'll, I'll just go to this schedule ladder if at all it is required to schedule that particular job but for time being let me start the service and i'll show you guys like what are the things it's getting printed and how my job is getting triggered it started you can see the first line okay my listener is invoked and it's telling before job what are the job my first task is triggered here and the second task is triggered here and after the job is finished my listener the post listener is going to be invoked right what i have in the listener when you're before job and after job i need to implement this job execution listener to write a listener you need to implement this and these are the method will be executed before the job and the after the job that is what is getting printed in my log okay what if i need to this particular job i want to schedule it in a regular interval if i want these things to this job to be triggered then what i need to do is i need to schedule it right so you can see i put some cron job like i want this job to be so here exactly what i'm doing is i'm launching the job this job launcher i am using and passing the job bin okay and that and this different params you can also set it okay so i i need to enable the scheduler i need to annotate it with enable scheduling i have already you know like given demo for this scheduler part you guys can go through it let me restart it so what it is going to do now every minute i want i have given the instruction this is the first setup log is getting printed that i have shown you guys just few minutes back and i have put it into a schedule let's see if that scheduler is invoking this operation or this job again after a minute okay and also like if you guys you know like want this to be you know like executed um, uh, on the startup you can implement this command line runner uh, after the startup of the service and you can override this run method i think it's not required so i'm just waiting for one minute to be finished for i mean uh, then only this will the second job is going to trigger yes here you can see guys after the operation is complete again it's going to be triggered it's already triggered another job right so this is what is getting triggered after exactly after one minute and uh, here the job id is also get printed which one is uh, after the schedule 
is triggering this particular job right so this is how you need to batch create your batch process in a spring boot project this can be used in any other framework you guys are using if, if at all you are using spring then this is what you can use it even if it is not a spring boot other simpler simpler spring application that also you can start using it i mean you can use it so thank you so much guys for watching this video i hope this is helpful so how to you know like create the bad job and how you can you know like schedule that particular bad job so that is in every alternative um, in in a regular time interval that job will be triggered right so this is what demo i have given i'm going to upload the github i have the project uploaded please go through it and like and subscribe and provide your comments thank you so much